Greetings YouTube and welcome back to Resonite. So this is not an adventure video, it's just I'm going to go over a few worlds that I found that I think will help you guys make worlds in Resonite and also adventure worlds that I will go to. So my whole idea of that is if you guys want to, you make adventure worlds and then in the tags do hashtag new 3001 and then the events worlds you guys make, I'll go to my videos in. So, let's go to the first world. The first world is getting really 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 useful and off we go and here we are um Hold on. Let's pretend that didn't happen. There we go. Now, welcome to the Navmesh world. But all these worlds are going to be in the folder in the description of the video, so you guys can easily find them. But yeah, this world someone made during MMC this year that allows you to actually build a nav mesh and use it. What's a nav mesh, you may ask? This is a nav mesh. So pretty much what a nav mesh is is you lay down a mesh on the ground and then you have an AI that follows that mesh and it doesn't use rigid bodies. So like this AI over here, if I enable chase and it starts chasing me, can I zoom you out? Yeah, yes I can, but you don't zoom out that much. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do this, there we go. There, as you can see, the agent is chasing me. And if I even go up here, Ignore the camera. Wait, can I just move? No, I can't. Oh, you always do this, camera. You always inconvenience me no matter what. Even when I'm showing people just stuff, you do this, camera. Why? But anyway, the nav mesh is really, really useful and it's so simple to use. So, for example, this purple thing up here is what you need for the nav mesh. So you, so it's in this folder here, it says grab it, save it to your inventory, and then you would spawn out the nav mesh system, and then you would click that thing, and you get this tooltip. And it's very simple to use, so let me do this. So all you do is just open your context menu, create nav mesh. Place down where you want, lock it, and to build the nav mesh, you click the side, and then you click. Click the side, and then you click. Side, click, side, click, side, click. And if you want to combine the nav mesh, like how there's a hole right here, if you want to combine it, that's very, very simple to do as well. Use this click. And then you click the orb there. And that's all you have to do. And if you want a nav maps agent, you open the context menu, create agent. And voila. Turn on chase. And it'll start following you throughout the nav mesh. And that's it for this world. Let's go to the next one. Hey. 
And we're at the next world. So this is the immersive story builder made from MMC this year. So I haven't really messed around with it too much, but it's really, really cool. Like, is this the example? Uh, yep, this is the example. So, like, if you guys look at this, this is the example that they set up. So, let's have a shower. Ooh. I frame dropped probably because I'm recording. <laughs> you decided to take a shower. It was refreshing. So, let's play on the computer. You play some games online. Maybe you hop into a resonate. Oh, and there's a computer over here. Let's get something to eat. You go to the kitchen and get something to eat. Oh, nom nom. That was tasty. Hmm. Wonder what we had. And then, off to bed. You go to bed. And then, sleep. So yeah, this world has basically explaining about everything, how to use it and stuff. <clears throat> and the public folder is there so you can get it. And... I, I, I don't, I don't even know what that was. <laughs> but yeah, this is a very, very cool system these people made. And it would be really cool to see what you guys to do, uh, knowing this is here and learning how to use it and stuff. So, on to the next world. And welcome to the next world. Uh, what? Uh, what? I really should look before landing. But yeah, welcome to Flux Fortress. This world teaches you all about the extreme very basics of Protoflux. You go through an entire fortress learning the basis of Protoflux, and at the end, if you succeed, Yet your very own <clears throat> special uh, multi dev tool. Not much the, the left to say about this world, so I think it's time to move on to the final world. And we're at the final world. Welcome to wait, what? Welcome to the community tutorial world. This I just said so everyone goes to first, and then the flux world, and then story or nav match, whatever you decide. But this world basically shows you the basics of Resonite. Of how to basically use everything from the UI, of how to navigate it, how to grab and scale things. It even shows how to use the avatar creator. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And also in the photo, you'll find a few extra things like, for example, this. What is this, you ask? This is the system I use to find the power cell of the TARDIS. Basically, you put this in a world and you place these orbs somewhere. So if the TARDIS crashes, then the power core will jumps to one of these three orbs. So you can use this to make adventure maps. And if you want the TARDIS to crash in your adventure map, then you can put hashtag crash in there and stuff 
So yeah, I hope you liked this video, and I'll see you all next time. And again, the link for the folder that has all this stuff, including this, and also the one that randomly selects enemies, I'm going to include that as well. That folder will be in the description of this video. Until next time. I need to get better at landing the TARDIS.